Tonight I'm going to be doing an evening prayer service with you for our Lenten pause. And here are some words about an evening prayer service from our Book of Common Worship. The services of daily prayer reflect the baptismal rhythm of Christian life, that of dying and rising with Christ. Death must come before resurrection as night gives way to day. At the close of day, we surrender our lives to God and rest in Christ's peace. In the morning, we arise to walk in newness of life with the risen Lord. This way of keeping time also reflects the ancient Jewish and Christian understanding that the liturgical day begins at sunset. A distinctive feature of evening prayer is thanksgiving for light. As the day closes and darkness gathers, we give thanks for the light of Christ that has come into the world, the light that even death could not extinguish. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. You are our lamp, O Lord. You are our God, a strong refuge, and you have made our way safe. I'm going to be playing a hymn for you on my flute called Our Darkness is Never Darkness. you'll forgive my rough playing there <laughs> but you can tell by the third time it gets better let's give thanksgiving for the light the Lord be with you and also with you let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right to give our thanks and praise eternal God by your word you commanded let there be light by your spirit you have revealed the light of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ, shine in our hearts this night with the light of your good news and illumine our dreams with the vision of your holy realm. Through Christ our Lord and in the unity of the Spirit, we give you thanks and praise now and forever. Today I'm going to be reading a little passage from a paraphrase of Teresa of Avila. It's from a tiny book called Let Nothing Disturb You. I find some of these reflections really helpful. This is about being humble and what it means to Teresa of Avila. You do not have to be bashful with God, as some people are, in the belief that they are being humble. It would not be humility on your part if your sovereign were to do you a favor and you refuse to accept it. But you would be showing humility by taking it and being pleased with it, yet realizing how far you are from deserving it. A fine humility it would be if I had the royalty of heaven and earth in my house coming to, do, coming to it to do me a favor and to delight in my company. And I were so humble that I would not answer their questions or remain with my guest or accept their gifts, but left them alone. A fine humility it would be if they were to speak to me and beg me to ask for what I wanted and I were so humble that I preferred to remain poor 
and even let them go away so that they would see that I had not sufficient resolution. Have nothing to do with this kind of humility. Speak with God as a father, as a mother, as a brother, as a sister, as a Lord, as a spouse. Sometimes in one way, sometimes in another, God will teach you what you must do to be pleasing. Do not be foolish. Ask permission to speak with the spouse of your soul. Remember how important it is for you to understand this truth. The Lord is within us and we should be aware of God's presence. Let's take a moment to give thanksgiving for this day and to offer prayers of intercession. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, O Lord, the lifting of my hands as evening sacrifice. God of glory, we praise you for your presence in our lives, for all goodness that you shower upon us in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Time to savor the goodness of creation. The enjoyment of friends and family. The pleasure and wonder of living. all beauty that moves and delights us. People of God, for what else do we give thanks? God of grace, through Jesus Christ, we are one with all your children and we offer our prayers to all whom you love. Especially we pray for independent, indigenous, and emerging churches. For refugees and homeless men, women, and children. Those who pass by their neighbors in need. Those who offer a prophetic witness. your blessing on those we too often forget. People of God, for what else do we pray? At the end of our prayer, I'm gonna close with uh, another bit of Teresa of Avila. Let nothing, O Lord, Disturb the silence of this night. Let nothing make me afraid. For you are with me and I am with you. Let me not be shy in your presence. Rather, let me speak with you in confidence, trust, and love. For you are my father and mother, my brother and sister, my Lord, my spouse. In whatever way pleases you teach, you, teach me what I must do to please you. However undeserving I am, I humbly ask you to fill this night with the gifts of your love, with the gift of yourself. For if I have you, God, I will want for nothing. You alone suffice. For if I have you, God, I will want for nothing. You alone suffice. Here's our dismissal. Be patient, beloved. It comes from James, by the way. <laughs> in the book in the Bible, James. Be patient, beloved, until the coming of the Lord. Take heart, for the day of the Lord is near. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Amen.